Mimi nataka niwaeleze wa Kenya wenzetu. Tuko na vijana wengi. Hapa Isiolo mumesikia. Vijana wengi wanaangaika na madawa ya kulevia. Vijana wengi wanaangaika na ulevi. Tatizo kubwa ni kwa sababu tuko na vijana milioni tano Kenya. Hawana ajira, hawana biashara, hawana mpango yeyote. Na ndio mimi nawauliza wa Kenya. We must be deliberate. We must be intentional about creating jobs for the millions of young people, those who are at home already, and the ones who join them every year, almost 800,000. They join people in the labor market, yet there is no credible plan on how to create jobs. I want to tell the people of Kenya for the first time, we have an intentional, coherent, credible plan for making sure that we organize our economy in such a manner that it is going to create jobs for the millions of our young people. Tumepanga mambo ya digital jobs, nitaketi chini na wabunge on Tuesday. Na on Tuesday, mimi naketi chini na wabunge, tukubaliane na wao. Vile tutapanga mambo ya ICT hubs in every ward in Kenya. Ndiyo tupange vijana wetu na digital jobs. Tumekubaliana na magovernor, governor guyo akiwa hapa. Tumekubaliana agricultural and industrial parks in every county. Tumekubaliana markets in every constituency so that tufanye aggregation, baadae tufanye storage, tufanye value addition, tufanye agro-processing, tufanye manufacturing, tuongeze dhamana kwa mazao yetu na tupange ajira ya vijana wa Kenya. Tumekubaliana vile vile kwa program ya housing ambayo tulianzisha 2018 lakini ilikuwa makatikati na tumekubaliana this year. Sisi wote ambao tuko na nafasi ya ajira pia tutachangia kuhakikisha ya kwamba watoto wetu wa Kenya ambao hawana ajira kupitia kwa program ya housing tutapanga ajira milioni moja every year katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa mpango ya housing katika taifa letu na ndio mimi nataka niwaulize hii budget tumetengeneza tumetengeneza na makini sana because we must sort out the challenge of unemployment in Kenya once and for all and we must have a credible intentional practical plan on how to deal with unemployment mimi vile eh, mheshimiwa deputy president amesema yeye ndiye anaongoza vita kadhi ya wa Kenya na madawa ya kulevia. Watu wa Isiolo vile tumekubaliana tunaanza pale mashinani. Chiefs, assistant chiefs, wazee wa nyumba kumi, nyinyi ndio muko front line ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya madawa ya kulevia tunaondoa katika taifa letu la Kenya. We cannot be a drunk nation. We must be a working nation. Tunaelewana jameni?